Salam, salam, salam on this beautiful day. I'm uh, about to get into Revelation chapter 7 verse quickly, very quickly. Uh, bring forth this word of God. I'm going to keep it going. It's already on uh, Periscope. Uh, for some reason, uh, it's, it's not coming where I can save it. So I'm having to do this thing two times. But I, I, I got to continue to uh, feed God's sheep. Feed God's sheep. So here we go in Revelation chapter 7. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. They are not to do anything. God, God is giving commandment that they would do nothing. Nothing. There's a reason why God commands that these angels do nothing against anything. Verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the earth. Of sin, ascending from the east that is having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels being the four beasts being the four beasts being from the book of uh, Enoch being Enoch being Uriel uh, Raphael Michael and Gabriel being the four archangels and I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth in the sea. Did you hear that? It was given to them to hurt the earth, to hurt the earth in the sea. That's why we're seeing these things, to hurt the earth in the sea. God give power to those four archangels saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees till, till. We have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. So they are not to do anything unto the servants of God. These that are uh, like immortal beings in this time, that are living in this time, there are 144,000 men only of Israel, no Gentile nations, only of Israel that are sealed, that are sealed being like immortal beings. Nothing can kill them. Nothing can take them out. They're bulletproof. Angels are around them, encamped around them, that nothing, nothing can do any harm against them. This is the truth. This is the word of God. I'm going to read farther. Verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. It states the children of Israel. Not the Gentile nation, but the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Nephthalim were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Zebulon was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000 as 144,000. Glory be to God. Dan is, Dan is the only one that is not mentioned of Jacob's sons in this prophecy. The reason why? Because in the book of Judges, he made an idol. The children of Dan made an idol. In Genesis chapter 49, Yaqub being Jacob... He made prophecy in Genesis 49 for the last days that Dan would be a serpent, by the way, and an adder in the pad, being snakes. Being snakes. That ensign Dan still holds today that would be on the flag, the flag, the flag of Dan. We see the symbol of Dan on the anchors that all men wear, even in the Navy or the Navy of the United States. Uh, the serpent is around the anchor is around the anchor that that is on the arms of the tattoos and also on the uh the documents of men being in the navy. My uncle being in the navy and I uh, I slept in a room in my grandmother's house and I would always look at the uh the document of him being in the navy and it had that that seal. I still can remember it and see it uh, vividly that uh that seal. That seal, that serpent being around the anchor. Glory be to God. Uh, but Dan will be a part of what is necessary. What is necessary. God has another purpose for Dan. Dan is going to come back. Dan is 
going to come back in the prophecy. I believe that's verse 18, uh, Genesis 49, verse 18. He says, O Lord, I have waited for I have waited for thy salvation. O Lord, I have waited for thy salvation. So Dan says, I know I've done wrong, but O Lord, I have waited upon thy salvation. So Dan, uh, it's shown that Dan's going to come back. Even in Isaiah chapter 49, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 12, show those of Sinem being China, being the Oriental regions are going to come back to God. So we don't count Dan out. Dan, uh, Dan done wrong, but Dan will come back, but he's not in this, this particular uh, uh, like seal, like Navy seal uh, special forces that God have that cannot be killed. They're not in that number. But Dan will come back as prophetically that Dan will come back. They're already moving. Verse 9. And after these, and after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and to the Lamb. That's two different uh, beings. God who is Yahweh, who is Yehovah, who is uh, Je uh, Jehovah, who is Yahweh. And also you have the Lamb, which is God's Son, uh, being the sacrifice that take away the sin of the world. Being Jesus, being Yahawashai, being Yehoshua, being Issa, being Jesus. Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. These people were before the throne of God. And cry with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and into the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, in the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessings and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And he said unto, and he said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. Apostle John saying, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulations and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That did not say Tammuz of Babylon. It did not say Horus. It did not say Horus of, of Egypt. No, not them. It does not. It did not say uh, Muhammad of Islam. It does not. Did not. It did not. The Lamb. John the Baptist said, "Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world." This is the only Savior. This is the only one that you can go through. This is the only one being in His name that you can get baptized in in water. And God, God will respect it. God will respect it. God will respect it and God will honor it. And God will allow you to be into his kingdom when you're baptized sincerely in the name of his son. He is the only sacrifice according to uh, Isaiah chapter 53 verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. It Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him when he shall make his soul an offering for sin. What is a soul? Mind, will, and emotions. Mind, will, and emotions that dwells inside of the flesh. Mind, will, and emotions that dwells inside of the flesh. It pleased God that he actually sacrificed his own son. He tested Abraham. Abraham, he tested Abraham to see if Abraham would sacrifice Isaac. Abraham almost sacrificed his son until God told the angel to stop him. He has a ram in the bush for this. That ram in the bush that was laid down upon the sticks, that were laid down upon the stone, the, the, the stones of, 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 of the, uh, the altar, that being God's son. That being God's son. It was already prophesied through the actions of Abraham that God himself would sacrifice his own son. That wasn't uh, a friend of Abraham. That wasn't a cousin of Abraham. That wasn't a nephew of Abraham. That was Abraham's son that God tried his heart. God tried Abraham's heart with his own son. God, God, 
by the action of Abraham, by the action of Abraham, he allowed salvation to come forth that we would be redeemed by his son blood, by his son blood. Glory be to God. Then it shows that therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple and he shall sit on the throne and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. God is coming back. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst anymore, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. That means that the clouds, as the children of Israel were covered by the clouds in the wilderness, God is going to cover his people. God is going to cover his people. For the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them into living fountains of water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. God is going to wipe away all your tears. All you got to do is hold on. All you got to do is hold on. There are those that are Gentile nations that are going to come through great tribulations. I say to the Gentile nations, hold on. Hold on. You that call upon the name of God's son that are, are baptized and that are living the law, statutes, and commandments. I see you in the word of God. God is going to call you to Israel. God is going to call you to Israel. I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but we're going to get into that. And I'm going to prove that God is going to call you to Israel. God is going to call you to Israel, Gentile nations. You that are not, you that are not of the 12 tribes. You are goe, being the Gentile nations. We say goe in the Hebrew language. Goe represents is Gentile nations, which are considered to be nations that are not Israel, that are not of the descendants Israel. 144,000 God has selected, has selected that are greater than any army that's on this earth. I want you to give this thought. I want you to give it thought. God gave instruction that the four angels would not hurt anything until these 144 are sealed. A special sealing. No one can kill them. No one can kill them. They are like immortal beings walking this earth right now. A special army. A special force. For these end times. God has walking the earth. And he will bring them together. It's God perfect will. It's God perfect will. So I give you time to think. To repent. To repent. Bow down. Bow down and be a part of the number of the Gentiles. That are going to come before God's throne. They're going to come before God's throne. Apostle John is already to look at them. Already allowed to look at them. Look at them. He, Like a hologram. He saw them in heaven around the throne of God. With palms in their hands. Hallelujah. Palm Sunday. The Sunday. The time right before the, uh, the, 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 the Passover lamb is slain. They're in that atmosphere with palms in their hands. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. On I believe being a 10th day. It's palm, it's palm Sunday. It's Palm Sunday. Glory be to God. And we see that God showed the Gentile nations. They honor the sacrifice. They honor Passover. They're involved with the law, statutes, and commandments. I say shalom to you all. In the name of Yahweh, we're going to keep it going. It's already on Periscope. You're a prophet one. You are a prophet one. You are a prophet one. We're going to keep it going. God has given me the word, and I'm expounding it, and I'm bringing it forth to show you what is going on. In simplicity, I say shalom to y'all. You be blessed. Continue to go forward and hold on to the word of God and put those crosses and those so star, so called star of uh, David away. It's not of the kingdom of God. It's not of kingdom of God. We're going to get into all these things more so. Shalom. This is Messiah Ben David of the bloodline of King David. Shalom. This is what I do. We'll work for Christ. Shalom.